Well, hello, Cancer, and welcome back to Peony Lore, where we help you find the beauty in all things. This is going to serve for the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of Cancer from the 14th through the 20th of June. Okay. Got a couple of big deals that are getting ready to happen this particular week. Of course, the weekend is going to be extremely big with the four of the major things going on on one day. We have Father's Day, so congratulations to all the fathers that are out there putting it down. Congratulations to all the mothers that are acting in dual. Grant, thank you for all the uncles and the grandfathers, um, friends of family that participate in that masculine divine role that our children need. Thank you for doing that. We have the solstice. We have Jupiter going into retrograde. Um, those three are big. Jupiter going into retrograde is going to affect the practical application of dollars and cents, like actual money, okay? Wheel of Fortune, right? Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for a few different, a little bit off scale from how I've been doing it before. Um, I'm going to ask for a few cards from the past, energy up until now. Um... And then we'll dig into the remainder of the energy for this week. On the 17th, which is Thursday, we have the first quarter moon in Virgo. And that's being practical. It's going to bring forth this version of practicality, which is a blessing because with all of this other retrograde energy that we're still in, um, <clears throat> people can have been a little bit catawampus. <laughs> that's the easiest way for me to say it with where things were, what they thought was happening. Were you really in your sense of, you know, just letting things be? Were you relaxing? Were you, you know, respectful? Were you, all the different reasons, right? We don't have to go and beat that up. So when we get to this Virgo energy and it wants to bring in this energy of practicality, it's gorgeous. And <clears throat> The honest thing to say is that seek first to understand so that you can be understood. Everyone needs to be in hermit mode at that particular moment. Everyone needs to kind of go in and listen to everything that's been bubbling up. So then you are going to be confident in speaking your piece. This particular week has a lot of Libra energy in it. Okay. Trying to balance some things out. And <clears throat> you just have to be practical at this particular moment. Like I said, Thursday, leading into the weekend with all of these other main big components coming forth. All right, so Cancer, this is your season as we move into this particular weekend. Let's figure out what the universe has for you. So once again, we're going in with our sacred geometry, Shapeshifter. Inner knowledge and ancient wisdom. Okay, card number eight, it is master energy in itself. Um, infinity. Dollars. What else do we have for our cancers? Breath of fresh air is what I'm being told to, to share. So let's find out what that means, shall we? I'm going to put this off to the side here. All right. Um, yeah. Those are, the, those are the big main things. So let's go into a few different pieces of information for our cancer from recent past up until now. And then we'll dig deeper into this particular week. Gersh darn. <laughs> you know, I could talk my ear off, so if I don't have a visual reminder of, of time that's passing by, I'd be here all day. <laughs> um, few cards, recent past until now. Thank you so much. Cancer. First card. Queen of Swords in the reverse position. Um, softening a little bit with having to 
take some decisive action based on knowledge, okay? Softening up, not being as harsh. That's good. Sometimes you need to slow down in order to speed up. You may know a thing, but you don't always have to act on a thing right away. This knowledge, this information that you have is still having you in the Seven of Wands position, or that's kind of where you were at. Softening. Staying on top of the situation. Trying to stand your ground. Not letting the actions of others influence your decision. Softening. Appreciate that. Another card for our Cancer Prior Energy, please. Thank you. We have two. Ace of Wands in the reverse position. Ooh. The hair font in reverse. Timing is a factor with what was going on from recent energy up until now with this Ace of Wands in the reverse position. It's basically what it is. And it's almost like the queen knew it was going to happen. It's like, nah, I'll just wait till I can do this, right? Hair funked energy. Inner knowledge, inner wisdom, an official type of a situation that was coming through. Higher education, promotion, spiritual advice, higher knowledge, higher, 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 higher knowledge, but not just like book learning higher knowledge, higher content coming through, timing. So you're being set up in a good way. <laughs> you're being set up to be in the right timing. Is there anything else? Clarifier. Can do. All right. Clarify why the Queen of Swords is in the reverse position. Four. Thank you. Mm, magician. Not, not quite ready. It's also possible that this Queen of Swords could have been someone that was a thorn in your side. Cancer. Someone that was kind of a jack-of-hole. And you were having to hold yourself together because there was a Six of Swords moment where you knew it's timing again. Not right. Not moving forward the way that you wanted to. Ace of Wands in the reverse position, please. Thank you. Entrepreneurship, boss, uh, work environment, passion project. Lack of passion. Page of Swords. And High Priestess, yeah. inner knowing. Inner knowing that their timing was not right to do the things that you needed to be able to do. Fair enough. So let's find out what this week has for you as far as that timing is concerned. We're gonna put these cards back. And if they wanna show themselves again, then we understand that we're getting some additional clarity from the universe. Hmm. So somebody commented or emailed me, <laughs> why do you breathe so heavy? Okay. When I'm breathing, I am transmuting the energy that I'm feeling that I'm getting from what spirit's telling me. And I'm not trying to hold anybody's negative stuff in. So <sighs> breathing that content out, clearing the channel. It's not because I'm overworked or overstressed. <laughs> I'm clearing. Nice big deep breath. <sighs> Cancer. What do they have to look forward to for the 14th to the 20th universe?
how are they going to be shape shifting? Ooh, looky, looky. Three of Swords, healing. Healing that's going through. Now, I get a lot more mental healing than I get from anything else. So if the Queen of Swords, which wanted to be you, needed to hold her tongue and hold on because timing wasn't right, that's healing. That's healing that thought energy. And it will translate into how it made you feel, but that's healing. But by biding your time, you went from the Ace of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. Brand new practical energy. Okay? Newness. Um, promise is the word that they're asking me to say. Promise. Okay. <laughs> it's a gift from the universe. Something that you weren't necessarily expecting. Nope, I'd like you to pop out. I want to chase anything. Woo! Swell Wally, look. We have the lovers. Choice. Positive choice. Right choice. Potential lover. See what else we have. Three of Wands in the reverse position, and then we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. They said there's two more. I know that we're going to spend a lot of time with the lovers, and I know we're going to spend a lot of time with that three of wands in the reverse position. There's our queen of wands. Choice, balance, two of pentacles in the Ah, That finger death, sorry. <laughs> queen of wands, entrepreneur, boss lady energy. Doesn't have to be female, okay? But the divine feminine Mind. Where the Queen of Swords that was in the reverse position where you, where you were in the past, although she was coming more to her heart-centered self instead of being, you know, um, overly analytical, this Queen of Wands is completely fair, completely just, knows what she wants, has the spark to get it done, and starts to do the work, okay? Very, very gorgeous energy. Very kind. Very practical. My favorite queen of the whole deck. Just get it done attitude. But nicely. <laughs> if that makes any sense. There's one more in here to support the queen of wands. What else do we need to know? Again, male or female. Genders don't matter. It's the energy of the divine masculine or feminine. Okay. No, I want you to pop out. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. It wants to be this top card. Sorry, got to do it. They're like, no. Ah, I love it. Strength card. Infinity symbol. Eight. You don't know it, but the universe has really been behind the scenes doing a lot of stuff on your behalf. And <clears throat> at some point, you are um, high priestess in energy to understand or understand um, what it is that you needed to do. Holding your tongue, holding it back a little bit is pushing and you're propelling you forward. They said show you the bottom of the deck. We're in the previous sign, got the eight of uh, pentacles in the reverse position. You have the eight of pentacles in the upright position, meaning there's more mastery ahead of you here, okay? That's an important, important component for me to bring out with this particular reading. He had more strength. And there's additional healings that are coming through at this time as well. So healing from whatever was hurting you, especially mentally, <laughs> there's a gift coming from the universe with this Ace of Pentacles, practical energy, this lover's card that's sitting here, okay? Coming together of two individuals, the choice. Um, usually it's the right choice when it shows up in the upright position. And 
this three of wands that's sitting here in the reverse position, we will do some clarifiers around because we're going to just group this, these energies here. This wand energy, this, this energy that pops up is like waiting for your ships to come in, in a sense. But it also is gathering this energy and momentum. You, the decision, and spirit, like trifecta, right? So choosing to go with what guidance you're given is going to be able to allow you to get to this moment. And so this is where the Two of Pentacles shows up, meaning you have to allow with this incredible balance, balancing act that you're putting forward right now, you may have to allow one thing to drop in order for it to be even, okay? The other thing to think about is that when the Two of Pentacles comes in, um, choices and decision about practical things as far as Pentacles are concerned um, are things that you need to really start paying attention to this upcoming week, especially if you are of the entrepreneurial mindset and you're going to be strong enough to receive what it is that you want. But we're going to go and we're going to clarify. <clears throat> I would like to understand, and now i got to put my gases back on, um, what other significance do we have with this three of swords and this ace of pentacles that is sitting here? What else do we need to know? Ah, ah, let's go back in there. I know a lot of cards want to come out. <laughs> okay. Three of swords, please. Three of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. What else do what else do they need to know? What else do our cancers need to know? Now we have the six of whoops, big pardon. <laughs> six of cups in the reverse position. There's guidance going on behind the scenes. <clears throat> and um was it Aries? Six of Cups in the reverse position is letting go and healing from past trauma. Okay? And you need to be able to know that some of this was karmic. But you you got through it. <laughs> you followed instructions. Oh, wow. Come on, you guys. All right. Something wasn't justified. Temperance wanting to come in to help balance the situation for you because you weren't able to make the judgment call that you needed to or that you made a good judgment call with regards to the seven of swords Content energy that needed to come out timing you needed to let it You needed to like let stuff bubble up is basically what it boils down to So the beautiful thing that I can say about these three major arcana that are sitting here is that this is a huge This is huge Temperance is also healing behind the scenes, okay? That's the Aeon creating that mixture of what needs to happen to make something just. Judgment um, doesn't always get the right, as far as I'm concerned, accolade is how, uh, of how you would want to put something together in a practical formation because judgment can mean literally making a judgment call, but it also means receiving because it also is renewal and it's transformation it's like scorpio energy okay and <clears throat> were you ready to be renewed at that particular moment well guess what you are now because you got a gift there's that renewal that's coming in and whatever was going on or whatever you were holding close to your vest or was being held away from you it doesn't always have to be negative secrets it just means that something is being held very close to the vest has now come to fruition. Let me get a card for the lovers and this three of wands in the reverse position, please. Thank you. Seven of cups, choices already been made. No confusion. Spent enough time. Queen of cups energy, not necessarily in the best of emotional capacity, this is kind of like the anti, no, I don't want to say it that way. Um, <laughs> this is high priestess, not quite ready to communicate, if you will. Okay. 
Queen of Cups in reverse. The Lovers is the ultimate union and choice, like I said. So the Four of Swords also here is talking about the fact, is there one more? They said one more. Um, you've rested enough in one sense. All of this work that was being done behind the scenes, there he is, there's the Emperor. I was expecting the Magician to come out, but we got the Emperor, I'll take it. Um, you've rested enough with all this emotional trauma, 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 <laughs> all this emotional trauma that was going on in the past. Um, so the Four of Swords is saying, yeah, you're, you're done resting. Now's the time to get on it. <laughs> the Emperor, ultimate organization, Major Arcana for Aries. Three of Wands, like I said before, is <clears throat> getting organized to the point because you've made this choice to allow this Three of Wands moment to happen. Feeling as though you have everything that you need to pack your bag, walk forward with spirit to grab that thing that you want. Almost there. You've already made the decision and the choice to do so. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Strength card. Two of Pentacles, choice. Something might have to go. You might need to make extra space in that little bag you're trying to pack in order to get what you want. Queen of Wands, Entrepreneur Energy, Strength card. Leo Energy, also a card of healing and restoration, especially physical healing, okay? What clarification can we get for our cancer with this trifecta here? This pairing. Rest. They said rest. <laughs> Ten of Wands. It's done. You're holding on to something a little too tightly. You've got to let that last. You've got to let something go. You've got to. You've got to let the last thing go. It's too much for you to bear on your own, and or you need to delegate. Let somebody help you. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put that one back in because I'm not exactly sure why it flipped and I did not catch the momentum with it. All right. Queen of Wands, what advice do we have here with this Queen of Wands? <laughs> Knight of Cups. Um, I think that's awesome. So Queen of Cups, not ready emotionally to make the decision. Now the Knight of Cups is saying, yeah. Now I'm ready, and I'm ready to invest in this emotional situation, this emotional, um, I'm ready to invest my emotions into this new entrepreneurial energy, into this new spirit of doing the next thing. That's gorgeous. Strength card, please. Queen of Wands in reverse, we are concluded. <laughs> You're ready to do this. You may not have felt strong enough to do this in the past. You, you are now. This is done. This is done. You guys know that when they repeat like this for me at the end of a, a pairing that that we said what we said. I love that. Let's go into the Oracle of the Radiant Sun here and let's see what other information we can pull out for our cancer that might be meaningful before we go on to our other two oracles, please. Ooh, thank you. Seduction. And it's placed on the right section here. So with this energy, you have to be aware of what it is that you're going all up, all in about because the lover is union okay it is the ultimate union whether it's higher self over soul i am presence your spirit guides whatever whoever it is that you're working with from the astral plane this is the ultimate <laughs> um coupling relationship business partnership be mindful of where you're being seduced into this and it's not a negative card okay it just means be aware be aware be aware, be practical, and be aware, okay?
what I want wants me type of energy. <laughs> so we have strength on strength. This one's called endurance. This is Scorpio energy with sun. All right. Manipulation energy. Um, this is also Scorpio energy, but what this is really saying here, and that goes with this Two of Pentacles and this Ten of Wands, don't let yourself be manipulated. This is that energy of really, something has to drop, and like I said before, delegation might be the right thing to do. So be aware that you have the power at this particular moment because the Emperor is here to provide that level of energy and higher level of um, organization for you. Be aware that you are not being manipulative, manipulative by asking for help. So if you have a business partner, if you're going into a new partnership, if you're trying to bring new people in, you literally can't do everything by yourself. You will go crazy. Let people help you. Create a chart, put things on the chart, assign people to the chart, organize, delegate, okay? So that you can be relieved of all the things. Is there one more? Thank you. That's gorgeous. Generosity. This pairing, this new thing, this new venture that you're getting ready to go into again, this Leo energy that's sitting here is, it's generosity. It You are going to be able to, I wish in one sense it was the six total balanced giving and receiving, but it is the five of generosity sitting here. You are going to find yourself completely different than who you were even four weeks ago. Completely different. Where you weren't capable of certain areas, and I shouldn't say capable, but where you were waiting, where you were absorbing like a sponge, all of these different things that need to happen. You are now full and you are going to be the best supervisor if you're getting a promotion. You're going to be the best um, new business owner. You are going to have so much fulfillment and joy with this new venture, Cancer. It's just going to be mind-blowing for you. You're not going to recognize yourself. And other people are not going to be able to recognize. Um, it's not a bad thing. They're just going to be able to see the night and day. That's ultimately what I'm trying to say. Like this was the time, this was the timing that needed to happen. So the universe is giving you some gifts here and I think that's lovely. So let's move on to the Lightworker Oracle deck. Angels, practical advice for our Cancers here for the remainder of this week through these big energies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Just, I just feel like this joyous clearing. It's almost like a child that opens a gift that they weren't expecting. <laughs> like that youthful enthusiasm that comes with it. It's so gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Cosmic Heart, Cosmic Christ. Okay. Card 27, 9, progression, 8, 9. Cosmic Heart, Cosmic Christ. Small passage here from this um, <clears throat> you are elevating your vibration towards the frequency of limitless supply and unconditional love. <laughs> Spiritually, you are reaching for a high level of attainment. Past pain and self-defeating behaviors shall no longer have a place in your heart. I love how you can't make this stuff up, you guys. You just can't. It just is what it is. Okay. Hmm. I spoke before of um, the infinity symbol. And when the infinity symbol showed up here, um, if you don't know, I'm going to explain it now. <laughs> we say Christ. We don't always mean Jesus the Christ. We mean Christed beings. We mean Archangel Metatron holding the Christ grid, which is the galactic grid. If you didn't know that, now you know. Um Christ was a part of that galactic grid. Buddha was a part of that galactic grid. Many of the masters had to have been a part of that galactic grid in order to continue to support where we are here. So if, you know, um, 
you did not grow up in a Christian environment and you don't resonate with Christ, it's not Jesus the Christ, it's the galactic grid, the Christ grid. Archangel Metatron is responsible for that and part of his symbol is the infinity symbol. Now you know. All right, now let's go into card number eight. Um, mm, 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 mm. Inner knowledge, ancient wisdom. I am able to shift my thoughts and perceptions to keep myself aligned with the ever-evolving energetic changes we experience on a daily level. That is a mouthful. I am able to shift my thoughts and perceptions to keep myself aligned with the ever-evolving energetic changes we experience on a daily level. One more time for the people in the back row. I am able to shift my thoughts and perceptions to keep myself aligned with the ever-evolving energetic changes we experience on a daily level. And so it is, okay? So I'm scanning because universe will highlight a passage for me if there's something else that I need to be able to share with you. But ultimately what they're saying with this particular card is that every person has the capacity of shifting their reality on their own if you make small changes you don't even have to do anything that's drastic but by making small changes so what's benefiting you cancer is by you being in that queen of swords in the reverse position being more heartfelt and more open to hearing what other people were having to say the timing became right because you were bringing forth an energy of patience, if that makes any sense, okay? Anyone can do it. <clears throat> Basically, what's high lit for me is create the balance in your life that you want to be able to achieve. And I'm being told to pull out the two of pentacles here. Create the balance that you wanna be able to achieve. Create the balance that you want to be able to achieve. You can't do everything on your own. Please delegate and let people help you. You are not being manipulative by asking people to support and help where they need to be able to do that. Otherwise, <clears throat> should you want to take advantage of crystal medicine, you can use apophyllite, selenite, clear quartz, or moldavite. And this is definitely owl medicine. A lot of wisdom is going to be seen and felt through your actions over, these, over this next little bit. And that's beautiful. I feel really just, like I said, this youthful enthusiasm. All right, Cancer, that is what I have for you for this particular week. Hopefully you were able to resonate with this. And if you did, give me a like. Share it out with someone else that you might think um, would be um, a beneficial recipient to the way that I deliver content. If you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, okay? Otherwise, um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you are looking 